What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto Through Garage. As you can see, I am working on my 03 Boosted Tahoe. I got to get these two head studs out that have broken on the back side of the manifold. Uh, so it kind of sucks. I'm having an exhaust leak or whatever. So I'm taking her apart and then we're going to just go from there. As you can see, I got two broken head studs on the back side. Uh, GM, these uh, bolts are known to break um, apart and all that. I got one on that side and then one on the other side that I got to try to get. And I got to try to remove all this and then we're going to see and uh, go from there and see how that uh, come out or whatever. But I already got everything uh, loose right here and there. And I just need to remove this, make sure she all on loose and that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, y'all really can't see, but I need to take this down. I'm pretty sure y'all ain't going to want to see all that um, mess and all that. Uh, I'm going to just probably get this side off and if I have time to get this side off later because I am on a call today. Um, might have a couple calls. We never know. Um, I already got everything loose and I just need to take this. I think it's a quarter. Well, it's already loose. I just need to pull this hose off. If y'all don't know, I had did like that steam port upgrade. Um, I was gonna get like the hard line kit and stuff, but I found um, a way simpler way uh, to do it. So I ended up doing it that way. So I just need to take this off and then hopefully get all this uh, stuff off and remove this belt. This belt tensioner, ICT billet uh, belt tensioner worked very great. I would recommend it. Um, and yeah, and then like kind of taking apart me i'm thinking like shoot i might as well just put like a high uh i think it's a high flow or high pressure i think it's a high pressure i think it's either high volume or high uh, pressure oil pump but i think i need a high pressure oil pump in this thing tell me what y'all uh think or should i just keep it but if i have to do the oil pump then i have to drop literally like everything down which is going to be more time consuming i'm going to have to take this crank pulley out remove the cross membrane, a member or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it just be a lot. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Uh, I might just, cause it's, the truck going to be like pretty much um, uh, spaceless. Well, it's going to have a lot of space for me to work and all that. So y'all just uh, let me know down in the comments and uh, just go from there. And then working on this engine, like so many times it's just so easy and stuff. I like kind of know it on the back of my hand, everything is like easy uh, plug and play compared to the Porsche which is in a hot mess with about now. So I got to remember how I can put this all back. Let me see though. All right guys, so we got the intake out for now. Um, what I need to uh, do is remove these uh, spark plugs right here. If you don't have one of these sockets, you need to keep these on you. These work miracles. All right guys, so we got our cover off on top, man. Look how clean this bad boy is. So guys, anyway, I got it uh, all taken apart and stuff, as you can see. And I'm gonna leave it as that. Right, we're going to go from there. Y'all let me know if I should get a high pressure pump or a high volume, but I'm pretty sure it's a high pressure I need. But if not, I might just leave it as it is and then just uh, go from there, just fix this. And I had broke this uh, piece right here, which is crazy, but I'll uh, let it go. That's pretty much it right there. So guys, this is the head right here. I already effed up the head. I was trying to weld and get that bolt off, but wasn't able to. So looking for some new heads right now. I found some on eBay or Summit Racing or whatever, or somewhere. Um, and this is what we have under here. Just got to remove that head um, sometime. But like I said, I got to um, find a set of heads. Um, if I do, I can transfer the springs and stuff that I have on these old heads right here or just get some new ones and uh go from there you gotta fix that one piece in the back and we just gotta make sure we got um sealed areas like our exhaust everything just make sure everything's sealed up but yeah we need to hurry up i guess hop back on it sometime but anyway in due time it will do and it's not getting cold but it's getting cold so i'm gonna have to find a way 
keep myself warm when working on this thing. But that's it, guys. So it's three in the morning. I was gonna drop this video on Friday or Saturday, but I decided to drop it today, which is Monday. It's like three in the morning. I had just got a little bit of footage. Now I'm gonna replace them heads that I have on the truck right now because the two bolts cannot come out worth of nothing. Like it can't come out at all. I welded it, welded it, welded it, wouldn't do nothing, wouldn't budge. And I even drilled it and still I messed up. Anyway, I'm in contact with somebody. Hopefully I get the heads they right down the road for me so I don't have to wait like a week or two uh, just to get uh, some stuff coming in. And also I got to replace some other stuff that had broken off and I'm planning on uh, repainting some stuff um, inside that engine bay. So hopefully the color I go with is uh, pretty dope and pure. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you haven't joined the garage, I hope you join the garage, subscribe. And uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, y'all support and all that. And I'm going to still keep dropping videos no matter what. Let's go. Like for real, I'm going to keep dropping like for real. Stay tuned for the Porsche. Uh, Mercedes, I need to do some videos on there. It's just sitting right now. Um, other than that, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you.